Welcome back. There is a student rally tomorrow designed to provide a space for helpful conversations about issues like reducing, reducing youth violence and mental health awareness. We are joined by Pastor Jonathan Everett and Larry Barabino Jr. from Inspire Nola Charter Schools to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I'm from Nord, but we're in partnership with Inspire yeah. Nola. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Partnering with Inspire Nola yes. all for this Nola Love yeah. event, which yes. I love the name. Yeah. And it really is about kind of inspiring love in our in our youth, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's um the initiative was to, like you say, combat the reduction of violence. Uh, to unify kids and to also tap on some of those uh, social disparities and social dysfunctions that we're seeing in the classrooms and all these different partnerships we have. Nord, Inspire Nola, Rock of Ages Baptist Church. We, we understand that it's a depiction of unity and collaboration, that we are better together. It's no one person that's responsible for the ills that's in our community, but if all of us fight together, we can get it done. And a lot of us hear about, you know, the problems, yeah. but it's really hard to get ahead of those problems. Mm -hmm. Talking directly to the youth can help with that, right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And that's why the key thing is it's about partnership, right? We're attacking it from different angles. So we're attacking it from the school side um, with Inspired NOLA. We're attacking it from the church side. Yeah. Um, and also we're attacking it from the Northern Recreation side, right? Because the goal is to make sure that not only we're offering all of our youth in the city of New Orleans safe spaces to be, but we're making sure that they have a voice, yeah. making sure that we're understanding them. And of course, there's no other way or no better way of doing it than pulling together a rally and bringing in some great speakers to to also talk to them as well. Right, yeah. to inspire them. Uh, you, when is this event? It's tomorrow, uh, uh, the 20th, September the 20th at Xavier Convocation Center uh, at 10 a.m. We have some amazing speaker. This is a, a, another installment of a series of events. Uh, we had uh, two weeks ago, Bishop T.D. Jakes came in, and it's really not having a conversation about them, it's having a conversation with them. That's the tomorrow we have Charlemagne the God, Ricky Smiley, uh, Nick Cannon, uh, Mr. Barabino can tell you oh the rest goodness. of it. It's Absolutely. a bunch of But then also, of course, we have to make sure that we also have our local artists and celebrities at the table. Like we have those kids are crazy about High Sizzle, the rapper, right? Yeah. Okay. But then also we have Larry Morrow, the young entrepreneur that's there. We have uh, DJ Rise that's there and a host of local entertainment as well there to make sure that, that we not only have our celebrities, our national celebrities yeah. there, but sure. we have our local celebrities there that's able to talk to our young people and to hear them as well, right? Make sure we're getting a good message out, but making sure we're hearing them. And it's about unity. Yeah. Why is NOLA Love so important? Why, why do you think something like this is, is going to make a difference? It, it'll make a huge difference. I, 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 was, I would say this. We have to really thank Mr. Jamar McNeely and his entire staff at Inspire NOLA Absolutely. for coming up with a concept that brings all of us together. And to speak about positivity and to bring in these global icons into our city, I would go on a limb and say we're probably one of the first cities doing this, and that's crossing these these lines and creating bridges and not barriers. So big ups to Mr. Jamar McNeely, Kevin Barnes, and his entire staff for making sure this is happening. You know, you got Cleveland Spears, you got so many other people that's that's putting our hands together and saying, no, 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 we won't let this happen. Absolutely. We're going to come up with a solution and be the solution that the city needs. And, and this isn't the only event. This is part of a, a series of events, right? Yeah. Yeah, we had one uh, two weeks ago. There's going to be another one had to be rescheduled because of the hurricane that's sure. going to come in uh, in November. That's going to once again highlight a lot of our locals. You know, we have a lot of you know individuals that's going to be there to speak on the positivity of our city. And yeah. where can folks go to get more information if they want their kids to attend? Oh man, I, I have to say that they, the website yeah. uh, inspirednola.org, inspirednolacharterschool.org. Uh, uh, over 4,500 4, students are going to be there tomorrow uh, with the community wow. members, and uh, I'm just excited. Right. Just and there's, excited. A, there's a small number of uh, tickets still available for community members. The great okay. thing about it is even though that this is driven by Inspire Nola, it's open to a host of the rest of the charter schools. Yeah. So you'll see um, not just Inspire Nola schools there, but all of the rest of the charter schools are able to come, and they're going to be participating and attending. So this is definitely a great <laughs> event. I'm excited to be a partner with Inspire Nola and uh, Jamal McNeil and his team. Really sounds like a great collaboration, and I hope uh, some kids are inspired tomorrow. I think yeah. they will be. Yeah, yeah I'm, I want to be inspired too. There you go. It's some kids and adults. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I thanks. appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for you. having us. Well, in this morning's NOLA Minute, NOLA now